Hey guys, hi, it's Julie the Creative Chica coming to you with a little uh, Hobby Lobby haul. I was looking for a special thing yesterday. I was actually looking for a three inch punch yesterday. And so I went to Hobby Lobby to see if it was on sale and it wasn't. It's $19 and that's a little rich for my blood for a punch. So I didn't buy it, but I did find some other goodies and I wanted to share them with you. So let me show you what I got. So first, I'm going to show you some papers, some papers that I bought, and I have in mind what I'm doing with these. Sorry about the sound. Noisy, noisy. So I am going to be doing a ladybug journal. So I found this fabric that looks kind of like ladybug. So that's going to be a ladybug journal. So got that, and I'm going to add other things, embellishments and things. And then um, I picked up couple so there's going to be four of each I believe I'm trying to figure out what goes with what I think these go here I'm not sure where those go but there's going to be a sunflower um going to do a sunflower journal with that paper and on on the inside I'll be doing this paper with it so I think that will look really cute together so there's that so I got four of each I think I think there's another paper that I picked up, unless I picked up four of these. I don't think I did. Okay, so there's that. Let me put this at the bottom because I'm not sure why I got that one. But anywho, I did get this paper. It's gorgeous. Look at this paper. Isn't that beautiful? That's going to be a gorgeous journal, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait to make this one. So this one is going to go with some of this wood plank look on the inside. I think that would be really pretty. So I, you need four colors, either all the same or two of two of one and two of the other for a journal for the front and the back. And then maybe I got more paper. Let me look. Um, okay, no, I guess I don't know what I was thinking, but I know that I was thinking about this. Oh, yeah, maybe it was this. Did I get two of these? I think I got two of these. Yes, this is another sunshine one or or these yellow flowers. And then um, I'm going to use this paper to go with it. So that's going to go together with that. So those are the journals that I'm thinking of making. And then I picked up some other things. And I was thinking this would be really pretty in a journal. That is, this is tissue, gift tissue. But I can get in here. This is really beautiful tissue. Look at this. It's just really pretty. It'd be good for kind of an old fashioned looking one. It's got flowers and it's beigey. I think it's really pretty. So that's what I'm thinking on that. So I'll show you guys what it really, there we go, get the glare off of it. So there's that that I want to do. And that's such pretty. Um, tissue and they have bags that go with their tissues so there's a bag that matches this and I noticed that yesterday they have all these tissues and they match the bags that they have there which is really pretty so there's that's actually my my first time I bought tissue from them and then we did check out the um what do you call it um we checked out the uh clearance we got this this was 10.99 normally but um, they, I think they're from Christmas. Virginia peanut sea salt and butter toffee candy nuts. And this was a dollar something. I think a dollar fifty or something. That was pretty good. And then um, I picked these up. Marie and I want to try them. These were, I believe, three fifty nine. And normally they were. What does it say? Five ninety nine. And then they were three fifty nine. These are hot, sweet with spicy kick. So I thought we I would get this for us to just try. And she could have them mostly because they're sugary. Um, and then I picked this up, you guys. I've never bought this. It says cardstock 80 pound. Oh, 80 pound. Okay, well, anyway, I've never bought it. It was on sale. It says heavy weight. I'm going to cut it open and feel it. I know what heavy I know what um what heavyweight means, 
but it says to a, a two sixteen GSM, so maybe it's like a card uh, cover. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, cover cover stock. It says heavyweight, so you know sometimes be depending on the GSM, they are uh, either heavier or not. So I'm going to look at that right now. If I can get this corner moved. Okay. Let's feel that. Because I want to use these for cards, you guys. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, I'm going to show you something. I don't know if I can show you, but there it's not too bad. It's actually okay for the cover of a card. It's not 110, but so for uh, for the 80, it's good. Seems to be good stock. And then, of course, you're going to cover the front. So I've got that, and I'm happy about that. I have to look at my receipt to figure out how much I paid. I think it was 40% off, pretty sure. And finally, anything else? Oh, yes. Pick this up, you guys. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so I picked up a roll of this. And do you see they look like sunflowers? Almost. They look like flowers in any way. There we go. Here's the side I wanted to look at. No, that's not right. This is the side. And they kind of remind me of flowers. So I wanted to do it on the sunflower journal. So I bought a roll of that. They were all kind of with this plastic off, but... That one had the most plastic on, so I thought I would get it. And I don't know. I think they were on sale, too. It's normally $2.99. I think it was 40% off as well. So I bought a roll of that. And then I bought half a yard of this. I don't think... No, this one was... I don't believe this one was on sale. But I did buy it because I don't have anything like this. And I want to do like a romantic journal-like. Look how pretty. I don't know. You can't really see the iridescent, the iridescence on this. Let me try to pull my light over more. See if you can see it. I think you can kind of see it. So anyway, got half a yard of that because I was thinking of using like just individual pieces. So I thought that should be enough for now. And I don't remember exactly how much I paid for that. But um, I thought it was good to get a little piece. So... That is what I did and got at Hobby Lobby and unfortunately did not get my 3-inch punch and I'll be on the lookout for that. I don't know you guys if EK Success has it or not. Let me know if they have a 3-inch punch because I do like their punches. It'd be worth paying the extra money for an EK Success punch. I haven't found it. Only ones I've found were Recollections and I don't know what else but I'll keep looking. So that's it guys. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.